Welcome to a video from ThisIsLives.com, new Windows 11 build to look at. This is build 25163 for Windows Insiders on the dev channel. And uh, there's a couple of new interesting features on here. And the first thing I wanted to show you is I've, load, I've opened a load of applications up here in my Surface Go. And you can see I've got these uh, three dots for the taskbar overflow menu. So if I pop up there, you can see these are applications that didn't fit um, on the app, uh, uh, across the bottom down here. Now what happened previously you just wouldn't see them and you just see the, the current active application and you could you'd have to use the alt tab to switch to them but now you can do that and you get all the regular stuff as though it was on the taskbar bar so that's really nice to see that's working um i'm gonna uh, let's fire up another application and see what that does so this didn't work actually at first and then um yeah it started to work after a reboot so it shows you I needed to do the reboot, and there you go. There's the four applications. So that's that's I like that. I think that's a, a nice way of, of working. Now, what else has changed in this build? Nearby share has been uh, improved. So let's try and find a file, and uh, I'll make sure I've got a device that's around as well that we can try that with. So I can select the share by share icon to do nearby share. And there you see it's picked up my um, little laptops. Now, what they say is using uh, UDP network services when you're on a private network and Bluetooth, it can discover more devices. So you should be able to see more devices on there. The other thing as well is local files. You can share direct to OneDrive. So that's a local flat file. And you see that now I've got the OneDrive icon. So I can click on that and it'll share that to, to OneDrive for me. So there you go, now it's finished uploading, you can see that uh, I can send that link. So it's uploaded it and then I can send the link, but I'll, I'll cancel that. So uh, what else has changed in this build? Well, they've uh, fixed some issues with File Explorer crashing as you were dragging tabs around, uh, which is good. They've fixed the memory leak with File Explorer and they've fixed previews of File Explorer when you're using Task View. Uh, so they've, they've fixed all sort of those uh, preview windows issues on there then um, if show or folders enabled the uh, navigation pane doesn't show anymore they fix that they fix some issues with narrator and they fix some issues with uh, the new tab button and uh, ex and exe crashes there's still some known issues with this build um, SQL Management uh, Studio is failing to launch for some insiders and anti-cheat software may cause your uh, PC to crash or bug check. Um, there's still some misaligned uh, arrows in File Explorer, although I don't remember seeing them exactly. I think maybe around here. Um, and the notifications may not show the widget down here. It doesn't necessarily show the, the correct uh, notification counts. So what I want to show you really was this taskbar overflow. I think it 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 works well. It's a it's a good sort of compromise to uh, to get that. It's better than the, the 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 way it currently does in Windows 11, where you just don't see them, and that that's a bit more annoying. So I think that is much improved. So that's it for for this build. You can find out more on thisislifestyle.com and our YouTube channels. Please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.